their sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for the next 48 hours. And this is a very powerful day today, total lunar eclipse. So I'm trying to get the rest of these next 48 hour readings out. So with that said, if you're wanting a private reading, at least give it 20, 24 hours to receive it because um, I'm just a little bit busy. Okay, so this is the angel number messages. We have 28 and 77. 77 says, it is time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. 77, 28 says, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You can lead people with compassion. I am a leader. So that's nice. That's nice. Okay, this is the Epiphany deck combined with the sacred signs and symbols. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that and put them down, down here. So let's get some messages. Please, Spirit, for Gemini, positive messages only. Hard to say goodbye. It's kind of sticking here. It's sticking here at the um, the bottom. So I'm I'm just gonna leave it there. We'll take it. But what else for Gemini? To good old times back to good old times saying goodbye to something but letting something in with the good old times back to the good old times so letting something back in your life um, that maybe you had been missing for a little while anything else for Gemini's by the way this is general so you can you can think of this like um, hard to say goodbye to a career or moving or leaving from school or you know what I mean or it can be um, a relationship or children going to college stuff like that it says believe in divine timing <clears throat> with the uh, good old times so I'm thinking that it's meaning like there's divine timing for all of this for all of that I think that's what its message is all right, I've got the competition card on the bottom of the games, competition and foolery. And this is the Aboriginal Dream Totems deck. So we're gonna, okay, caution. First message is caution. And of course, you know what this is eclipse? We should have just called it the decision-making eclipse <laughs> because everybody's getting that, that this is a decision. You've come to a halt says caution there is no truth behind this farce be wary of smoke and mirrors look closer at the illusion and it may may melt away revealing revealing as you can't talk a sanctuary where only truth remains decisions it's your decision whether you keep this up or let it go but continuing will not change the circumstances or the outcome and like they say um, continuing to do the same thing over and over and expecting the same outcome is an example of like lunacy. It's crazy, insane. Actually, let's get let's get one more that's or let's get a few more that go right here. I have some cards that would fit perfectly there, and they are good cards. Um, the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. So let's see what that has to say for our signs, Gemini. Or Gemini. One more time. I know I do it a lot, but. Okay, let's cut it now. Hey, 
Okay, the first one, your auric field, 52. It's time to call in energy protection to shield, clear, and strengthen your aura. Hmm. Okay, resolve. This is a period of indecision and inner conflict, and it's time to make a decision. Twice. Another decision. Tough love. It's time to tell the truth about something you've been avoiding. Past life connections. You are currently healing past life wounds. All right. So that's what I've got with those. Let's get started on, um, let's get started with the tarot. <clears throat> let's use these cards. Let's use these this time. All right. For Gem Matthews, next 48 hours for our science Gemini, for their highest good. Next 48 hours. What is the issue going to be for Gemini? What's the issue about these next 48 hours? What's the issue about for Gemini? Okay, so that's what I got. I got your victory is um, what you're trying to achieve. This is what the issue is about. Your six of wands, your victory. Your challenge is probably something to do with finances and doing it on your own, like not having anybody, anybody's help. Like you, you're doing something very independently here. And it gives you... It's like people witnessing you doing really well here because they're all raising you up. Maybe you didn't think or didn't see this coming, didn't think this would happen. The root or the heart of the matter. The Four of Swords. You're still healing things, and, and maybe you're healing things with, um, you know, that have to do with this, this pentacle issue. May have to do with that, or it may be the energy of wanting to just be alone. Maybe find some solace or some solitude, tranquil um, times for yourself. Because of this healing, it's still going on. During this time, you won't be fighting, you'll be avoiding drama. <clears throat> All right, let's do a card for your past, your past info information. Your past information is the death in reverse. So, card of Scorpio, this is, to me, that always usually, usually is meaning some kind of resistance to change, even though something was the way it was, maybe not being very truthful about how we really felt. Therefore, this cycle just kept going. And look, this is my other card in the deck that means resistant to change. We have Knight of Swords in reverse and Death in reverse. So that's huge for your past. That That's like, I would really bet on that message. The present energy, Gemini, present energy for Gemini. All right, <laughs> I think this is a challenge. I think that's why it's sitting like that. I think leaving, leaving is the issue. Maybe emotional detachment to uh, something. So it might be leaving emotionally away from something, away from being emotionally invested. Usually goes hand in hand with leaving something behind. I feel like the challenge is your star here and that's why we might be leaving is either for Aquarius or for something about our hopes, desires, and our dreams to come true, we're going to have to go in a different direction. This might be the decision you're having to make right now. All right, what is the near future energy? Ooh, good. Good, Gemini. Look at that. Ace of Cups. So really good. <laughs> really good. These are the big things in life. These are the, you're pregnant and you're happy. Um, 
you're getting married, or you met someone you think they're your soulmate, you're buying your first house. These are really um, multiple opportunities thrown at you from the universe. Peaceful times, love. All right, what is the how you are feeling? What is that? How is Gemini feeling? Okay, you feel a little out of control with this card in reverse, the King of Cups in reverse. You feel a little bit unbalanced. Emotions are running high, and that's why you might choose to detach from these emotions. All right, so let's get a card that represents the external. So the external. Something didn't go as you planned. And, and that might be the truth that we're having to talk about or reveal is the fact that what we really wanted, we didn't get even in the sense that we could have gotten what we thought we wanted and it wasn't it. That wasn't it. Hopes and fears, Gemini. Five of Swords, so fearing uh, conflict with others. Because, see, you're sitting in the Four of Swords, so you don't want to jump up from this stage. You're still healing. You still need that time out, even time to enjoy a victory here. And some people are not celebrating it. Maybe that's what you're fearing, is that instead of celebrating, people are going to be arguing, not getting along, and fighting. What's the outcome? Well, and we know that um, five has to do with change, too. And that, it's like everything's building up from this death in reverse and that uh, king of swords in reverse. This is the outcome, though. It's a really nice, harmonious partnership as the outcome. I mean, you couldn't want a better card for an outcome. So... Let's go to our other tarot and let's get some uh, cards to see if it wants to clarify anything else. Look at your spread, though. It's a really good spread. It's really good. I'm looking at the hands. For some reason, I'm looking at the hands in these. So the one main thing we need to look out for is... Yeah, be gentle with ourselves while we're healing some emotions that are kind of off balance. Okay, any information um, regarding this present situation for them, for Gemini? <laughs> Did you see that with the Ace of Cups? Of course it's going to land right on it, right? Let's see what we got. Eight of Pentacles something that maybe wasn't working okay something that wasn't working this is what you're starting a new chapter either with somebody else or um changing something making something different this time making a different decision knowing what works and what doesn't now could be gemini could be uh, aquarius scorpio taurus and leo and then up here on the present energy, we have the moon. Pisces talk about hidden feelings, secrets because of this revealing this truth. This might be, yeah, I mean, that might be indicated by saying that there is presently something you're not revealing. And this also says to take baby steps towards whatever you're going to. It looks, it looks very similar, don't they? Um, use the light of the moon to take baby steps. The Three of Cups is in reverse. All right. So, Three of Cups normally having a good time celebrating with people. But if people are arguing, then we wouldn't really be celebrating. If people are arguing or having a not so great time. We have the Sun. Um, I think it's upright, honestly. I think it's upright, but I'm going to put it sideways. Ace of Cups. I feel like it's this. I feel like you might get a new opportunity for a really good partnership here. And it's general, so a partnership like in anything. 
this is the decision here. It has to do with what you're wishing for and to sync up with what path you're going to go down. I think the energy of the sun, like divine spirit, happiness, joy, is what's coming into you with this four of swords. There's a need to let go of judgments of anything, of yourself, of a situation, prejudgments of anyone. And it's time to receive first aid assist from spirit to heal you, to make sure things don't stay in your body because you don't want to get diseased, disease, diseased. Two of cups. What's the two of cups about? You're manifesting this. Now, the magician. So, you're manifesting. You're manifesting really good news of some new beginning that is going to be really stable, grounded. It's about turning this around. Getting away from the energy of today and now and going into something much better. See, there we go. Nine of cups on the bottom. Getting our wish come true. Letting go of old hurt and memories. Five of Cups. Ten of Swords. This is a rebirth. This is a complete rebirth here. All right. So, that is your reading, guys. I like your reading. It's pretty good. I'm just doing short ones today. Um, I will do... Let's do some Oracle cards, and then we'll close doing that. Okay. So, getting some messages still for Gemini next 48 hours. What do we have, Spirit, for Gemini? Okay, Gemini, what do we have? Okay, necessary to breathe while you're healing. Whatever this is, breathe. Take time to notice your breaths. That is a really good way to become mindful and grounded. We have truth be told. That's a big... Um, that's a big message here with the time resolve or, or tough love. Like it's time to be honest about something and imagine. So this wish is going to be granted. So it's time to visualize exactly what you desire. And especially look at these beautiful opportunities. Best opportunities you can get in a lifetime are the Ace of Cups. So it looks great. Some tea leaves. Gavel, involvement with the law. So tell the truth. <laughs> That's the message. And look, needle on thread. A sincere wish will be granted. I see those as related. All right. So thanks, guys. Sending you love and light. Join me for your next reading. Bye-bye.